Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to a to a world edit slash world guard tutorial. Let me hit escape here and make sure my options are set down a little bit here. Uh, let's go with that. See here, normal, normal distance, max FP, yeah, whatever, the rest is fine. Uh, see here, sound, I'll turn the sound down and the music off. Okay, alright, well, first thing is, alright. Well, let me get rid of this, because I can show you from the beginning. Now, World Edit and World Guard is, uh, well, let me turn the weather off. Okay, uh, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a, now this is going to be just protecting a spawn area, but it can pretty much work for all things. Um, you know, any anything you want to protect. So the first thing you're going to want to do is slash wand. Oops, slash slash wand. My bad. Now like it says, you left click to... S yeah, you left click, first position, right click would be second position. Now you can do, you know, 3D areas or whatever too, but if I just want to protect this portal, okay, I can select, let me make it so it looks pretty. We'll select that and that, okay. Select that, select that. Now, now you want to protect it, right? Okay. First thing you do is uh, first thing you do is slash slash what is it slash slash I'm having a brain fart slash slash oh R, no it's slash region okay R G it can be abbreviated R G see that region and it tells you all of the different commands you can do but for now we're going to do region claim and we're going to do we'll call it spawn and we'll do we'll do me as an owner that's how you set it up region claim spawn well you you know you name it whatever you want it to be and then your name and whoever else you would separate it by commas like this for each person that would be allowed to build or destroy in that area and then you just hit enter region saved to spawn now to look up ones you know each world has its own separate file so you can have more than one more than one spawn here is region list shows a list of your regions now this one's called spawn obviously we know where it is right here now the problem is, is they'll be able to destroy blocks they'll be able to destroy this portal right now because well it, we only selected this level of blocks in here all of these ones within that we selected the ones they'll be able to destroy the ones beneath it and above that layer so to speak okay and um, well to fix that what we can do select that well actually we need to delete the region first so RG delete so region delete spawn Okay, now it's removed. Now if you do slash 
slash rg list it won't come up it's not there all right now we reselect them if you want to protect it okay it's already selected I guess um, slash rg claim spawn well actually we're not going to do that right now what we need to do first is expand vert now what expand vert does is it expands this selected area all the way up to the all the way up as far as it'll go and all the way down to bedrock so that way they won't be able to break anything within that area well not right now but it'll just select those blocks now you want to type in slash rg claim and then spawn you know the name of the the area and then you want to do uh... the people's names who are allowed to build in that area bam now they won't be able to destroy the blocks up here actually they won't be able to destroy blocks all the way up and all the way down to bedrock so this region is saved and now the uh, cool thing that I wanted to show you I gotta actually uh, get it from my list here where is it here it is wait that's not it, is it? No. yes now if you want to make it so so creepers don't explode Oop, that's not it actually I should be able to find it in a list because I did it earlier okay right here you do slash region flag the name of the uh, area and then creeper dash explosion and deny and what that'll do is make it so if there's a creeper here uh, it won't cause damage so the next thing I want to show you too is they also have you know enderman grief it won't allow that blah 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 and then you can block TNT in this area um, which would be the same way you just do it flag you know well region flag spawn you know okay so now you can also make it so bad things don't spawn it would be uh, you'd set the flag as deny spawn but for right now we are going to do this this is cool region flag okay first things first is you want to set your says slash region flag okay spawn greeting and then whatever your greeting is welcome to the which I'm gonna put flatlands and that just means the person's name will display alright you ready hit hit enter and now when they walk into this area it'll say welcome to flatlands and then your name so that's pretty sweet I like that but anyway it lets people know you know that what area they're in or if it's protected or whatnot um, and you could also change that if it's an area where you don't want people to grieve or whatever but they're allowed to build you could select that area and put welcome or 
welcome, don't grieve this area. If you do, it's instant ban or whatever. You can make it say that. Um, which I haven't done that ever, so I don't know why anyone would, really. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't see, the only thing is, now if you want to deny PvP in that area, it's pretty much the same, it's a uh, slash region flag, the name, we're going to do spawn, PvP deny, okay? Now, PvP will be denied within, you know, the area all the way up and all the way down. Now, that looks like poop, so I'm going to fix it. You don't need to use bedrock. You can select anything. Um, you can select any, uh, any blocks. I just did that so it would be easier for you guys to see what area I selected. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there are There is some pretty cool stuff that you can do with uh, World Edit. Let me show you some stuff with World Edit. Uh, slash, let's see what it has for help. Here we go. If you do slash WE help, which is World Edit, you can see all the different... Uh, different things you can do, which is actually a lot. Um, the one that I like the most, that's probably the most useful, is uh, is uh, slash slash drain, which lets you drain a certain amount of blocks of water. So, but, let me make uh, a little pond here. I'll just select that. Select that. Okay. If you select two areas and then you do slash slash set and then whatever you want that area to be. Do you want it to be stone, water, lava, whatever? I'm gonna make it water. Just cause I just cause I can. Okay. Now it makes it turns it into solid blocks too, just in case you didn't, you know, in case you didn't know that. But um, uh, what else do we want to do? Hmm. Now, if I want to drain this, you have to actually touch it too. Let me show you the drain command. Oops. Yeah, drain. And then how many? See, it'll, it'll tell you the radius. Slash slash drain ten. Zero blocks have been changed. Hmm, I wonder why. Because you have to sit in it. If it's lava, you have to be in it. You have to actually be touching it. Or else it doesn't know what to drain. Do the radius of ten. And boom, they're all gone. It'll be 10 blocks away from you. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was probably a little overkill for that little little pool, but it's all right. I'm going to select that. Select that. Oh, did it select it? Oh, it's already selected, I think, but slash slash set water. Slash slash set stone. See? Slash slash undo. Very valuable command. If you want to undo the last thing you just did, it'll undo it. Um, uh, let's see here. Now, let's say I want to build a. Let's see, hold on. Okay, right there. And then one away from here. I'm gonna select that. Select that. 
Now this this is a cool a cool thing. Slash slash walls, and then you select what you want it to be. You want it to be stone. You want it to be whatever whatever glowstone. Glowstone. It makes walls around the area you selected, but you have to select the 3D you know version of it. You can't just select the two. Well, I suppose you actually could, but if you use vert, the slash, slash, or slash, slash, expand, vert, it'll select it all the way up and all the way down, which you kind of, I wouldn't suggest doing that because that's really high and it'll go all the way down through the ground. Okay. Now let me make a door here. <clears throat> So, now that we have that, now let me make a floor here. Well, not a real big one, but I'm going to try to guess the center. What is it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, this is the center right there. Um, it's the center this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So same thing this way. Um, wait a second. Yeah. Okay. So right here is the center. Now, if you want to get fancy and do a cool roof or something like that, there's ways, other ways to do it, but I, I like to just do things quick and easy. Um, Alright, let's see here. Now, if we do slash world edit help, there is a way to make. find it here. Well, there's ways to make spheres and right here, okay. Um, H pyramid. Okay, gonna make a pyramid. Now, stone. Um, yep, okay. So, H pyramid, stone, and then the size. The size no, make it, uh, shoot, I don't know, five. Yeah, see, it's off just by a little bit, but you guys get the general idea that you can make, uh, you know, roofs pretty easily, easily too. Um, now, there's also spheres. It's a uh, slash slash, what is it, H sphere. If you want it to be, um, whatever, but, uh, um, slash slash H sphere the block uh, stone um, if you specify one radius it'll make it a solid block but if you specify two I believe two ra radiuses then it will be a hollow sphere which if you do five five It'll make it a hollow sphere. Let me get out now. Hollow sphere. You can do 10 by 10, 200 by 200, whatever, but you gotta remember, you gotta make sure that you have the right um, stuff. But if you wanted a, a solid sphere, you do slash slash H sphere and then the uh, and then just the radius uh, well stone and then the radius 
Oh, actually, it built a. I think it's probably because of the the H sphere or whatever. So, but slash world edit help. Let's see what other commands there are. There's. Geez, there's a lot. A lot of things you can do. You can set biome. Um, you could do slash up, and it'll and it'll take you to the next available block up. But most people already know about that one if they're an admin. Um, Generate H cell. Here you go. That's a good one. Um, it's a H cell, which is basically just a cylinder um, going upwards. We'll do stone. Oops. Stone ten. Here you go. Just I only specified one the radius, I didn't specify the height, so, but if I do uh, 10 by 10, it'll actually go, it's off by a little bit, but as you can tell, because of that, the one I did before, but it makes a, um, you know, a cylinder, which is pretty good for making, you know, castles or whatever, it's not too bad, but. But there's that. <laughs> now you can make these as big as you want, as small as you want. It's just a matter of changing the numbers. Um, now let's see what else we got for world. Ed Oop. World that help. Now there's something. There's just lots and lots of commands. There's not really one. Another valuable one is grab yourself uh, another tool. As long as it's not a wooden axe, because you can't bind the brush tool to a wooden axe. But any other, a pickaxe, you know, whatever. You put it in your hand. You type slash brush. Oops. Now it has smooth, cylinder, sphere, uh, something from the clipboard, and then gravity. Um, we'll do, we'll do uh, slash brush, cylinder, stone. I'll show you what this does. This is pretty cool. It automatically does a two by one area, but if you want it bigger, you can always do this. Slash brush. Cylinder stone ten by ten. Oh, maximum allowed brush size is radius is five. But if you right click, it'll it'll make a. You can even hold it down. It's an easy way to build pathways or whatever. But <clears throat> um, did I set that sphere? I did cylinder. Let's do five by five. See, yeah, there we go. That's much better. There you go. Now you can build. Uh, if you just right-click on things, it'll. Okay, add some stone here. Now I'm going to do slash brush. Let's just do slash brush sphere uh, grass and then do um, I don't know if I guess yeah 5x5 five five ought to be good.
No, we don't want hollow spheres. Slash brush, sphere, block. Oh, it's a sphere, so you only do one. But, uh, okay, so grass and then five. So you can only do one. But if you click it, 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 oops, too much, click it, click it, click it, click it. Now we're going to go over here, click it, okay, click it, click it, okay. There we go. Now let me show you the smooth slash brush smooth. Oops. Let's see. Slash brush. There it is. Slash brush smooth. See that? It's all in the list here. Two by two. Now you can smooth out your... Uh, depends on which way you're looking. Like if I look like this, it'll smooth it so it goes upwards at that point. See what it's doing? It smooths it out. Makes everything nice and smooth. All smooth like. That's why I'm going to go like this. Because it will make it more look more Minecrafty rather than I just generated a bunch of spheres in the world. Go like this. Just walk around a little bit. Maybe do one of these. There we go. See that? It looks more, I don't know, like it's supposed to be there as opposed to like that where it's just spheres. Now if you do, um, let's see here. Um, now if we do slash brush gravity. Now, let's say you don't want this way up here hanging, dangling off. Well, you can just do this. And it moves the whole thing down. Just like that. Oops. Went in the ground a little bit here. Trying to get out, but it's not letting me out. Oh. Ugh. Why am I walking so hard? Maybe I have to relog. Yep, that was it. I had to relog. Okay, so. Yep, all you have to do is click on it and it'll, you know. I mean, the brush tool is pretty cool. You can edit the world pretty darn easy. Just keep moving it down until it until it looks natural. There we go. Gravity tool, gravity tool. Once things are already hitting bedrock all the way down, then they they don't you know they don't it won't fall anymore. See, I'm I'm clicking on it, but it's not moving down. The reason is because it's already hitting. It's already down all the way. But yeah, that's how you make. Uh, some pretty cool stuff in Minecraft, some uh, world edit. I've gone over the wand, slash commands, and uh, some other things. So, um, let's see here, world edit help. There's nothing else really to world edit. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but eh, nothing, nothing big. Wonder what slash pumpkins does. Zero pumpkins created. Wonder why. Wonder if you got to be on the. You probably have to be on the ground. Ground level. Let's see slash. Here we go. Woo! Pumpkin patch. Look at that. Booyah! That's pretty cool. You can just generate pumpkins in your world so that way you uh you know your players 
on your multiplayer server. Don't get mad because there's no pumpkins. There's no pumpkins in the world. I can't find any. It's like, yeah, because they only generate like once every 500 chunks. <laughs> so, but that's how you do that. Um, let's see what else I got in here. We got remove above, which we just delete a lot of stuff. But anyway, um, it's all pretty much... Uh, it's all pretty much good, except for copying and pasting. I haven't done that yet. I haven't shown shown you guys that yet. But you select the area that you want to copy and paste. Now for this, I'm going to copy the pool as well. So I'm going to right-click there, because I want to copy the pool too. And then we need to select... Well, actually, we'll just select it like this. We'll do uh, slash uh, slash world edit help. And we'll do slash slash h p o s two. Nope, that didn't work. Slash, is it slash slash or just, oh, it's slash slash HPOS2. There we go. Okay. 39 blocks. There should be more than 39 blocks. Okay. Well, that's, that's a little better. Not that it really matters, but then you stand where you want to copy it. You can have just anything where you want to copy it. If, if let's say I'm standing at the doorway right here, okay, and I do slash slash copy, it'll copy it. And then if I go over here, I'm going to go way over just a little bit, um, and I do slash slash paste. Oops. Slash. Oh, I did it wrong. That's that's why. Slash slash paste. I always spell it wrong for some reason. I don't see it. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it didn't. It didn't select the whole area. I don't think. That's all right. We'll do it the old-fashioned way with the wand. This is how you'd select an area if you don't know how to do the age positions, like me. I don't know how to do the age positions, but that's okay. Go like that. Right click. That's better. 14,000. That sounds more like a. Alright. Slash. Slash copy. It's going to be just like that, right where I was. You got to remember where, where you were facing. If I wanted to copy and paste in here, slash slash paste. Booyah! See how it's that far away from me? Now, let's say I wanted to do it this way. Let me let me go over here and paste it. And I want it to face me this way. So I can have a path that goes from there to here and back. Well, let me face this way and just do slash slash paste. Wait a minute. Why is it over there? Well, because it, it remembers your position. And it remembers... Um, where you are like exactly now if I want it to be that way I have to rotate it 90 so you would do slash slash rotate I think that's no it's just rotate okay 90 rotated 90 degrees <clears throat> now you do slash slash paste and it's actually going to be behind me which is okay but if you do, you can just do slash undo, and then you would do slash slash rotate 180, which would put it behind you as opposed to this way. Okay, there you go. Now it's over. It, it would be over here if I did paste. Ready? Slash slash paste. Booyah! <clears throat> I got a shit ton of houses out here that I need to delete. But you got to remember, anything <laughs> anything that you copy and paste, if you use these little tower things to select second point, 
you're going to have to go through and delete them or, you know, do that. Just like that. You're going to have to go through and do this. And you can also cut instead of copying. Like if I wanted to get rid of this, that area is still selected, remember, so let's do slash slash cut. It cut the whole area out. Now if I do now if I do slash slash paste, remember I was right up against the door, and before I wasn't, I was a ways back. See that? It's right next to me now. It's a bit closer. Because it like I said, the copy remembers your exact like that way's north, that way's east that way south and that way's west. It, it remembers which direction you copied it from. So I copied it from like well facing north so it doesn't matter if I'm facing south it'll paste it north from my position. And if I wanted to I could go up here and do slash slash paste if I really wanted to. Just like that. But of course water is going to fall down yada yada. So, slash slash undo, oops, slash slash undo, oh, there we go, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, boo, yeah, it's gone, wait for the water to disappear. Now, if you want to delete things, you could always cut them, or you could do what I do, I do this, I go like, I do that. Well, actually, I'm going to have to, oops, going to have to select the one underneath it, like that, and then I go all the way down here, to delete all these houses, build a, build a selection tower, make sure that's in line, Okay, go like that, and then I do slash slash set air. Yes, you can set things to air. And there it goes, setting it to air. <clears throat> oh, that looks like, that looks terrible. Guess I'm going to have to uh, edit it with the wand, make it all grass again. Select your first point. Come over here, la 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 la. Select your second point, slash slash set grass. Booyah, done. All done. Updated the world and everything, okay. Now that's all cool. You can do that with, you know, mountains and stuff too. You can delete them. You need to be super careful about how about how you do that. Now time for a little fun. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, if you want to, you can do this too. <laughs> you can set things to TNT. Well, I don't want to do too many blocks, but slash slash set TNT. Look at that. It's a whole thing of TNT. Now let's do one of these. Hopefully this doesn't crash the server. But if it does, no big deal. See you guys later. Oh. It's right, because our server, we have it set, so you can only blow up one TNT block at a time. So, slash, slash, undo. Good enough for me. It's gone now. So, we went over quite a bit. <laughs> so, they got the pumpkins down there. Oh, there's one more thing, too. With the wand, you can do... I think it's slash... It's slash tree, big tree, 
like if you know if you have a server and obviously all the trees disappear and you don't feel like planting each one in you know you you plant each tree and then use um, bone meal on them to make them grow instantly every time here we go tree tool bound to diamond axe you just see that tree 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 okay now we got a bunch of big trees here <laughs> and that's nice Woo! destroyed all of them you see that <laughs> we have it set to do that on our on our server we have a um, we have a mod that's called like tree capitator or something and it just it it's so much easier cutting down trees in, in survival jeez I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to pick up all this it's just so much but But anyway, this has been a tutorial on uh, World Edit and um, World Guard. If you have any questions or comments, um, you know, obviously leave them. And um, you can, you know, comment, and I I will respond. Um, this isn't probably the best tutorial in the world on it, but I, I try to do it realistically and show you guys, you know, exactly what. Show you everything, you know, well, not everything, but, you know, <laughs> most of it that I can. Uh, let's see. So, but. Okay, well, let's see how much I got there in my survive wow that's a lot of wood why am I the default skin not cool I'm supposed to be cool I'm supposed to have my Superman outfit anyway um alright well guys that's that's pretty much it for for this tutorial I mean those are the commands that the only ones that I use and I haven't even used that pumpkin one yet, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. I mean, that's 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 a lot of pumpkins, a lot of pumpkins. That is a lot of pumpkins slash world slash world that help. Let's see, we'll do one more that I haven't done before. There's slash range. Um. Oh yeah, there's one called replace. that I haven't gone over. Oh, that's that would be Hawkeye giving me problems. Well not giving me problems, it's just being it's just being Hawkeye. Okay. Um if I do this give me some diamond blocks some and, uh, give me some I don't know what to do here maybe bricks okay diamond blah 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 and then you got your bricks alright if I select this whole area like this and I go slash slash replace It says replace from block to block, which means slash slash replace. Uh, let's do uh, wood to dirt. Oh, oh, it did it. Okay. <laughs> slash slash replace. I don't know dirt with diamond oh what am I doing 
Yeah, diamond block. Oh, diamond block is unrecognized. Why? Probably because I... Oh, it's... Oh, that's... Okay. Re... Now I have caps on. Replace... And caps doesn't matter, by the way, if you're still watching this. Replace... Diamond... Well, I'll do block... Block of dime... Diamond... With... Dirt... Block of diamond not recognized. I wonder why... Well, you can use the item ID. I'd have to look it up. Because I don't have it handy, but there is a website that you know has all that. But replace dirt, stone, booyah, see that replaces it within the area. And you can do that with like you know, if your house is made out of wood and you want it to be made out of stone, you can just select the whole thing and say slash slash replace wood with stone. Then you can quickly and easily change the look of your house, select just just certain areas and slash slash replace stone with with cobblestone I think it, here you go okay and then you change the look of your house oops slash slash re replace well the reason you use replace see right here I would just use set if I was setting that whole thing slash slash set uh, whatever dirt and then but if I selected this whole area and I said well there's all these other blocks in there I just want to change the dirt but there's dirt there and here okay but you want to change that and these you could select this whole area just like I did before and then slash slash replace dirt with what with stone no um stone brick i think is one there we go well that one's actually grass because it has grass on it so if i did slash slash um replace grass with stone brick there we go because yeah there's there's two different ones there's dirt and then grass dirt grass dirt grass and that might confuse people too I, I don't know there's redstone ore I wonder if I could change it into redstone ore that would be cool let me see um, slash slash replace I don't know. Cobblestone with redstone ore. Yeah, it worked. See? Cool. Cool beans. You could pretty much. Uh, sandstone, jungle wood, birch wood. And they have regular oak wood stairs. Let's see. Slash slash replace redstone ore with oops, stairs. Stairs is not recognized. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Um, but now you guys get the general idea of replace. Let's do uh, world edit help. Uh, contract chunk chunk info ascend biome info biome list brush butchers hell there's there's ways to set the biome and stuff like that but I'm not gonna go over that because it's a little complicated plus it can mess things up a little bit yeah set biome rotate save schematic search item 
select, restore, replace near. You can uh, replace near instead of selecting the area. Um, it works just like replace, only it replaces near you. Um, I'm thinking that's it for now, guys. Really, I mean, you can make cylinders, and we already went over that. H cylinder. There's regular solid cylinders. Uh, flood fill, flip. You can flip the item that's in your, you know, that you copied or cut. You can fix water, fix lava, which that just makes it so it's a source block. Um, you know, just makes it a source block. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it for that. World Guard, I didn't do touch too much on it, but um, yeah, that's that looks like it's pretty much it. I'll show you guys spawn. Oh, look at that. It says, Welcome to Flatlands. <laughs> <coughs> you come in here, Welcome to Spawn. When I go to Flatlands, it says, Let's see. Let's see if it works. Welcome to Flatlands. As soon as I step on this. I mean, I'm going to make this bigger myself. I'm going to make it, like, way out here. But, because we're going to build, like, a little house or something for it. But that was just to show you guys. I did it like that. Welcome to Spawn. We have PvP World, which is where grieving is allowed and such not, but not getting into that now. Nether. Flatlands. And yeah, learning their survival. So the world you spawn in is going to be, yeah, well. Anyways, this whole area is prote all this is protected. World Guard, I've already done it. But like I said, each each world has its own World Guard, you know, like file or whatever, if you'd like to think of it that way. Each world has its own. Like, I have a spawn, a spawn here, and then there's a spawn in Flatlands that we just made earlier, and then there's a spawn in there for, for World Guard, you know, protected. Region, claim, you know. So, you could do that for each, for each area. So, there you go. That's that. That would be that, guys. I will see you later. Okay. Bye, YouTubers.